episode three with Enrobel International. Today we're gonna to talk about brake rotors and brake pads and when you should be replacing them for your vehicle. If your brake pads and brake rotors have worn down together, they will have grooves on them. If you add a new rotor or new pad to the existing one, this may inhibit your overall braking power. Now I will help you identify the signs and sounds that your brake pads and rotors are making that'll let you know that they need to be replaced. So now I'm gonna bring you through a couple of ways that your car is gonna to indicate to you that the brakes and rotors need to be changed. First off, which is one of the most common, you're gonna hear a squealing. So when your car sounds a little bit like this, that's when you know that your brake pads need to be replaced. So similar to the squealing that you'll hear when you push your foot on the brakes, you might also hear a deep growling or grinding. This usually means you have excessive pad wear or rotor wear, and you should assess the situation and get them replaced. For some newer model vehicles, you'll actually have an indicator on your dash that'll come up and tell you that a part of your brake system needs to be replaced. The brake indicator light might look something like this. Another indication is when you go to apply pressure on the brake pedal, you'll feel a bit of a pulsing. This means that your brake pads need replacing. The fifth and final sign is the pulling of your steering wheel when you apply brake pressure. You'll start to feel the car pulling to either side as you apply the brakes. Thank you for tuning in to Enrobel International with episode three. I hope today you were able to learn a little bit about your brake rotors and pads and when to replace them. Safe driving out there.